All right, I'm getting ready to wash my hair. When I wash my hair, I'm gonna be using this Argon Oil Shampoo, Cream of Nature Shampoo. I had the companion um, conditioner, but uh, I'm not the type of person who feels like you have to have the um, uh, pairing of uh, whatever company makes the shampoo and um, the conditioner. So what I've started doing, because I wash my hair once a week, I only wash it once. I wash it once and I put the conditioner on. This is the conditioner I'm going to be using. It's called Orlando Pita Argan Gloss Conditioning Treatment. I just bought this yesterday at Costco. It cost $15. Um, it's uh, 27 full ounces and that's fine. I think this will be good. I wash my hair in the shower and then um, while the shampoo, while um, the conditioner is on, then I wash my body and that's enough time for the conditioner to do its work and then I rinse it out. Now getting ready to go into the shower to wash it. Um, this, I bought this once, it's called Shea Moisture uh, Coconut and Hibiscus for Kids and this is a detangler for kids. What's in this bottle now is um, olive oil and water. I just put olive oil and water in here. I shake it up. Put it on each section of my hair as I start to detangle. And usually my hair is much closer to my head by the time I'm ready to detangle. But uh, a couple of nights ago, I um, pulled my hair out and braided it in three, trend, three strand twists, which we all know is basically just braiding. And what else I do is I section my hair off and I have the same sections all the time. Then when I get it so that I can get the comb through it, it's detangled enough for me to get in the shower and start washing. See, that's already detangled enough. And generally, the way I section my hair, I've got this one over here. Then I do this part. This part is broken into two, so it's this part and this part. In the back, I kind of go a fourth down, then do three parts up here to detangle, and then three parts in the back again. I'm going to have to take off my glasses to detangle. I'm just going to show you a little bit of this side just get it where you can pull it out and then I like to start with the ends they're nice and wet so now we can get the comb through there yeah easy peasy and then I don't like to generally what I found is when I'm in the shower I'm not um, detangling my hair further because this is good enough. See, some people say don't comb it. I like to comb it. What I don't like is what's happening to my hair lately is I'm getting a lot of breakage and I'm not exactly sure why. I'm sure part of it is I don't have a lot of patience when I'm doing my hair. So I tend to be pulling on it, but I feel like you should be able to touch your hair and pull on it if you want to. So just for detangling purposes, where I usually do this in three while I'm sitting here in front of you, I'm just doing this one. Now, I'm not sure if just playing water would do the same trick as I'm doing here, but anyhow, here you go, see, 
and it just doesn't take that much to get the detangling done. But that's why I said well, I go for patience, you see how I did it in the front and then I'm kind of going fast in the back. So you just pull it, make sure you've got those ends combed. Then we're ready. Okay, so I'm going to go upstairs and wash my hair, condition my hair, and then I'll show you the products that I use to uh, put my hair together. I'm not sure what style I'm going to go for today. But that's all of the detangling.